We develop a physics-based controller using conditional VAEs that can generate diverse motions for physically simulated characters autonomously. Here we demonstrate a controller trained with a few dancing motion clips from the AIST dataset. At each control time step, a random noise vector sampled from a normal distribution is fed to our controller. Depending on the noise patterns, the character can perform different dance movements. It can continue to dance for several minutes without falling down. The generated motions are all different in every rollout. Here we show you a single rollout generated by the controller trained with locomotion data from the PFNN dataset. The character can move with different styles of locomotion such as walking, running, and crouching, and even demonstrate transitions between them. These are 10 different rollouts that start from the same initial state. As soon as the simulation starts, the character's states become very diverse. For example, many of them walk in different directions, while a few just stand in place. We can reuse our controller for solving other tasks with the help of deep reinforcement learning. Here we show you a controller for the point goal navigation task where the goal is to reach a target position. In this example, the black arrow represents the velocity of the character's center of mass, while the red arrow represents a user-specified target velocity. We randomly change the magnitude and direction of the target velocity every three seconds. In most cases, our character reaches the target velocity in less than one second. Here we show the path following task, where a position on the path and a corresponding tangential direction are given. Since the character is required to satisfy two goals simultaneously, training takes approximately twice as long as the previous tasks. But the character eventually learns a successful strategy. Given a complex maze of size 24 meters by 24 meters, the goal is to visit the maximum area in a fixed duration, which we set as two minutes. We discretize the entire map into eight by eight cells, the character gets a sparse reward when it enters a previously unvisited cell. At each time step, the character gets egocentric vision input provided by 36 rays and the information on whether the cells around the character were previously visited or not. We learn navigation skills for uneven terrains by using motions that were captured on flat ground. This can be done by allowing our conditional VAE controller to be updated for the new environment. Here, we show you an example of rough terrain created with a randomized height map with a maximum height of one meter. The character tends to take detours to avoid tipping over. It can also recover from unstable situations. This is another type of uneven terrain that includes five high peaks. The goal position is randomly chosen among the peaks. The height of the peak is approximately four meters this means that the character needs to ascend or descend a 38.6 degree incline to reach the goal. The robustness of our model allows us to learn multi-agent environments. We perform crowd simulation experiments with physically simulated agents, where each agent walks to its goal position marked with the same color. In this corridor example, the four agents initially stand on opposite sides and they swerve to the right to prevent collisions. This car for demo is the most challenging example that we run for crowd simulation where many collisions could potentially happen in the middle. We also test our method on other datasets. Here we show you 12 random rollouts generated from a controller trained on several shadow boxing motions from the CMU dataset. Like the locomotion example, the sequence of behaviors diverge after they start from the same initial state. Here, a boxer is training with a heavy boxing bag weighing 40 kilograms. The boxer gets rewarded when they punch the bag. The reward is proportional to the magnitude of contact forces. Although the original dataset includes only shadow boxing motions, our controller generates plausible interactions between the boxer and the boxing bag. Users can tune the degree of adaptation according to their preference while learning a controller that includes a helper branch. When a user chooses low adaptation, the controller better retains the original style from the input dataset at the cost of absolute performance in the new environment. 
when high adaptation is allowed, we see the opposite. Here are 12 random rollouts generated by a controller trained on a few dance clips from the AIST dataset. The dancers eventually perform diverse dance movements with varying timing. In most cases, they continue to dance for several minutes without falling down. Thank you for watching. We perform ablation studies to understand how each component in our model affects performance. When no stochastic variables are used, all the characters fall as soon as the rollouts start. When the simulation layer is not used, that is, when there is no reconstruction loss for the conditional VAE, more than half of the characters fall down in less than 10 seconds. In contrast, only a few characters fall down during random rollouts when we use our full model it can generate more diverse motions for the physically simulated characters. On the right, the controller includes a helper branch to help adapt to unseen rough terrains successfully. The controller on the left does not have a helper branch, so the character struggles and falls down eventually. we can observe similar results in other uneven terrains as well. We compare the performance of our control policy structure with an alternative structure used in a few previous studies. We modify the reward function of point goal navigation where the character gets a reward of one when the distance is less than 0.5 meters and a reward of zero otherwise. Our model performs better than the alternative model, both qualitatively and quantitatively, due to significantly better exploration capability